This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi everyone, welcome back to Inside the Hem. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I started a challenge to help me get through all of my works in progress called the hashtag so WIP challenge. And as part of this challenge, in addition to sewing up the projects, I also wanted to try and break the cycle of like, why do I develop a work in progress bin to begin with? And instead of Googling and finding mixed results from who knows who, I wanted to learn from a reputable source. I used Skillshare in the past with craft and sewing classes, but I remembered that they had class topics that were non-craft related as well. Uh, things like film, illustration, animation, design, and entrepreneurship. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts across tons of topics. Sure enough, I found dozens of classes on productivity, but what makes Skillshare even more unique is their learning paths, which are curated sequential class collections to master a specific skill. So I started the creative productivity learning path, which will help me start taking consistent, efficient action on my projects. That sounds literally perfect. If you're struggling with a massive work in progress pile like me, you should take this learning path too. But even if that's not your struggle, check them out to turn your I want to's into I made it happen. The first 500 people to use my link in the description box will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So no reason to not get started today. But in this video, we're doing something really exciting. We are taking one sewing pattern and styling it in three completely different ways. The pattern we're working with is Simplicity 3038, which is a men's boxy cropped jacket. And we'll be transforming it to reflect three major style trends for fall 2024, Western, chic luxury, and distinctive personality is what I'm calling it. I'm so excited to show how you can make one pattern work for any style, no matter what your vibe is. So let's jump in and get started. When I saw this simplicity pattern from Norris come across the new collection, I was like, wait a minute, I actually really want that jacket. <laughs> the more that I looked at it, it was like clean. It was like elevated kind of. Um, I love that you could do the contrast collar. And more than all of that, I really liked this detail. It seemed like a basic, but that was going to be something kind of really fun to sew. And as I got thinking about it even more, I was like, you know, this is kind of like a blank canvas where you could turn this simple design into a ton of different styles. So I've been thinking about fall fashion a lot, what's gonna be trendy for the rest of the year. And I was like, let's see if I can turn this one pattern into three different style trends, depending on kind of what your vibe is. The first one is going to be Western. So what I loved about this jacket and why I think it would apply so well to the Simplicity one is the fringe. I think that the fringe can take any simple jacket design and instantly make it Western. And if you look closely, you'll see that it has a similar kind of design going across the back yoke and down the sleeve. Very, very similar to our inspo, right? Can't you imagine taking some fringe and just having it go all the way around here? It is vegan suede, I believe. So it's kind of like a stretch suede. So they aren't telling us what fabric it is, but looking at it, it looks kind of like suede, right? But they also did it in this blue, which is stunning. Love that, but I also just really love navy. And then they did it in this green as well. Isn't that so, so pretty? And you can make your own fringe. You can make your own fringe from the fabric that you've got. It's really, really easy to do. Tons of tutorials online, but basically you just you know, make a bunch of slits in fabric and then bing, bing, boom, you've got it. So, okay. And doing a very quick search on, um, what did I search? Faux suede fabric by the yard. I found this from Joanne. It's technically a scuba fabric, but that's okay. Because if you look at the contents, it's 92% polyester, 8% spandex and our ready to wear was 90, 10. So very, very similar. I do think this could have a quality of scuba to it because it does have that kind of structure plus a little itty bitty bit of drape. So I actually think that this um, Joanne fabric is a good 
a good option. Once I found that one from Google, then I just typed in that search term um, into Joanne to get all the colors they have. They have this really cool, I guess they're calling it meerkat. Um, the brown we saw, cream. They have stormy, which looks a lot like this, which they're calling olive branch. They have black, they have deep forest. Pretty colors though, right? I think that they would all look exceptional in that jacket. I kind of am leaning toward this one though. Um, but you know, you can pick whichever one you like. This one would probably be the most Western looking though, obviously, because you know, it's brown. But if you can picture this with our pattern um, to get our inspiration picture, you can kind of get the vibe. If you wanna add patch pockets, go for it. Just steal them from another pattern. Um, but yeah, that's a great jumping off point. This pattern is a great jumping off point to get that Western look from suede fabric. Okay, so the next trend we're gonna cover is like chic luxury. Look no further than this jacket from Banana Republic. Um, originally $170 on sale but it has the same vibe as our jacket right it has the drop shoulder and it has the zipper front and a collar that you cannot see because of her hair here she goes modeling it but you could add this uh kind of th uh, what do they call those pockets that stand out from the jacket a little bit um you could add those to the bottom you could even add a little bit of elastic to the casing if you wanted to, to the hem. But what I love the most, if she would stop moving around, what I love the most is these really big sleeves. Um, I think that that's a really, really cool take on the pattern we chose. And to achieve that, it's really, really easy because we already have this seam. We have this little guy that's another piece of the sleeve and then this one as well. So you would just make this part and this part a little bit bigger as it goes down to the cuff and you've got it. That's all it is. Here it is. So you can see it's not even that much bigger. You know what I mean? It's just enough though. You don't want it to be like flared you because that's like kind of 70s looking. You still want it to be chic. So you want it to kind of come just down naturally, but still have a big wide opening. Okay, so this one is made from Tencel Linen. So 71% rayon, 29% linen. Now, do I think the fabric is necessarily what makes this so chic? No, I think that the clean lines of it, which our pattern already has, and then how they've styled it is what makes it the most chic. So they put it with this really pretty um, straight leg jean, I guess, high-waisted, really long, clean line boot, um, nothing you know, too fancy or frilly going on. So I think that's kind of what's giving it the, the chic luxury vibe to me. But that said, you also do want to keep your fabric kind of minimalist and simple. But I don't think you absolutely positively have to have a rayon linen blend fabric to accomplish that. You could do it out of chino. You could do it out of um, twill. So my go-to place for really high quality chic fabrics is Stylemaker Fabrics. And you can see how luxurious these look. Um, they even have like a slight sheen to them, which I think adds to the chic quality of it. I mean, honestly, they have a gajillion colors here. Here's the ultra fine again. Doesn't that look really, really luxurious? What colors? Oh, tons of colors in that. I don't think the color really matters when it comes to luxury either. You just want it to look expensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? And all of these rich jewel tones do exactly that. Here's another version of brown. Um, doesn't that just look stunning? Yeah, I think so. Um, so it is cotton and it has a little bit of spandex in it. The other one didn't have any stretch. It's not super necessary that you have that in there, um, but it's only 15% stretch, so not a ton. But again, if you can imagine this guy in that like luxurious kind of a little bit of sheened um, twill to it and either taking these welt pockets and turning them sideways or eliminating them altogether and putting like really big patch pockets there, you would achieve what we've got in our Banana Republic inspiration jacket. Okay, the third and final style inspiration that we're going for today is distinctive personality. I didn't know what else to call this, but 
This is really coming out mostly in accessories and sometimes you can consider a jacket an accessory, but they're talking about like really big chunky jewelry coming back, really big chunky belts are coming back. And I saw this version of the cropped jacket and I was like, you know, that is the pinnacle of distinctive personality if I've, if I've ever seen it. And it's super easy to achieve this look with our pattern. You can see that we've got the boxy style, right? It's not, ours is a little bit more drop shoulder, but that's going to be fine. The thing that's unique about this is they have eliminated the collar, which is easy enough. They just eliminated that and put in a facing instead. It's literally like tracing off a pattern piece, um, tracing off the, the collar, the neckline of the front and the back, and then cutting that out of your fabric and then sewing it like any other facing. Um, but yeah, they removed the collar and then added these cute little ties, which I've seen everywhere. They're putting these ties on literally everything. All the shirts, all the jackets are getting these little ties, which are just like, you know, little drawstrings sewn into the um, facing of the jacket. And then the standout is this really, really cute pocket, right? So it is a oval shaped patch pocket. And then they just added this little ruffle in. It's really, really, really simple to do. Top stitched on and bing, bang, boom. You've got a really cute, distinctive personality um, type of jacket that is going to, people are going to see you in it and they're going to be like, whoop, that's definitely Anna, you know? <laughs> and that's the Anna's coming down the hallway. We can see her from a mile away. So if that's what you like about your clothes, if you like to, if for them to have personality, if you want to lean into that part of your personality even more and showcase that on the outside, you can do that with this boxy jacket really, really easily. Um, again, we're just removing the collar, adding a facing. We're not even putting the zipper in. We're putting in these ties and then removing the welt pockets and adding these little scoop um, patch pockets with the ruffles on them. Super, super, super cute. Um, our inspiration ha is made from 100% cotton twill. Okay, just doing a really simple red cotton twill fabric by the yard google search you'll come across all of these um mood has some stone mountain has one stone mountain and daughters is a really reputable company they have um red i wonder if they have other colors okay these are the colors that they have of their cotton twill i mean look at this one leaf green that would be really pretty I literally even like the terracotta. You guys fill us in. This seems like very primary colors, neutrals, and then, gosh, they have like a ton, a ton, ton of colors. Okay, oh, it's the type of twill. Ventana twill is wonderfully versatile, bottom weight, defined twill weave, and soft hand that's perfect for pants, jackets, skirts, structured dresses, bags, and more. It is only 44 inches wide, though, so pay attention to that whenever you're buying your quantity so yeah again real quick we have our western we have our chic luxury and then we have our distinctive personality all made from one simple jacket simplicity 3038 from norris and there you have it one pattern three completely different styles i hope this video has inspired you to experiment with your sewing projects and see just how much you can do with one pattern whether you're feeling bold and distinct, leaning into a luxe chic vibe, or channeling your inner Western spirit, the possibilities are endless. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and let me know in the comments which style trend is your favorite. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Until next time, happy sewing.